In earlier animations, we went over how to frame a simple floor, and one with added features. Today, we're going to cover the process of covering that floor frame with subflooring. The long axis of the subflooring goes perpendicular to the joists, so snap a line across the joists 48 inches in from the rim. If the groove edge of the tongue and groove subfloor panels align along this line, subsequent rows will most likely line up too. Now you can spread a bead of subfloor adhesive along the joists and the rim. Keep the bead a few inches shy of the 48 inch line to protect your tape measure from a sticky mess later. Along the joist that breaks at 8 feet, keep the adhesive along the edge of the joist, not the center, because the panel will end at the center of that joist. Make sure the panel is breaking correctly on that first joist. There'll be no wiggle room at the rim joist end, but at the far end, it's important to make sure the joists are where they're supposed to be, not bent or curved. Make sure the 8-foot joist is centered and put a nail in it. Pull your tape measure along the top of the sheet nudging the joist to center on 16, 32, 48, 64, and 72 inches, nailing them as you go. Lay more beads of adhesive along the joists and rim and place that second sheet. Most manufacturers specify a gap between sheets. You can often use 8-penny nails as spacers. Continue through the first row, cutting the last piece to fit. Use a half sheet to begin the second course. This will stagger the sheets and strengthen the subfloor, which acts as a structural diaphragm for wind, seismic, and other forces. Again, pull a layout all the way from the end and make sure all the joists break correctly. Continue running courses and working around the stairway. If the sheets break right, run them right over that stairway marking the edge of the framing when you do. If you can't cover the hole for the stairs with installed subflooring, tack a spare sheet over it to keep people from falling through. Fill in the pieces of the cantilever and add a rip of subflooring along that other cantilever. If you're lucky, the corner you cut off will fit the opposite end. With a flat, solid subfloor, we're ready to dig into this bunk of studs so we can get to wall framing. 